Thanks to Square Enix, I had the opportunity to play Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake in advance, and I'm excited to share my impressions. This is a remake of a true classic, reimagined with beautiful HD 2D visuals and updated mechanics that brings fresh life to the original game. Let's start with one of the remake's most striking aspects, the visuals. The HD 2D style takes the classic look of Dragon Quest 3 and completely elevates it creating a world that feels vibrant and alive with every single step. The HD 2D style in Dragon Quest III Remake is stunning, bringing a sense of calm beauty to the game that's incredibly appealing. Each environment, whether it's a beach, canyon, desert, dungeon, forest, or snow-covered area, looks absolutely gorgeous and feels like a work of art. The way the trees and the greenery blend into the overworld feels natural, and each combat scene matches the exact location on the overworld, making the transition from exploration to battle completely seamless and immersive. My favorite part is the water effects, with reflections of light dancing across the surface that are extremely breathtaking. I found myself stopping just to appreciate the view. Combat is also equally vibrant with effects that add to the game's colorful and dynamic feel. When it comes to music, this is truly one of the best parts of the game. It's so good that I've left it on in the background a few times, whether I'm taking a nap or working on this review. The soundtrack is rich and ambient, making it perfect for setting a relaxing tone, even outside of gameplay. Dragon Quest is known for incorporating playful tunes when you level up, win a battle, or save your progress at the cathedral, which is also present in this game that truly stands out as a feature in Dragon Quest. Voice acting. The voice acting in Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake is actually done very well. While it isn't present in every single NPC interaction you come across, it comes at just the right moments to add depth to the storytelling. What really stands out is the variety of accents used across a bunch of different locations in the game. This really gives each town or city its own unique feel, making each new area feel distinct and adding a true layer of authenticity to this beautiful world. Let's visit customization. It's limited but gives you control over your characters and parties of Appearance. Your main character defaults to either male or female, and that's about as far as that option goes for the hero. For your party members, however, you have a few options. Each class has four different style choices that you can pick from, and you can pick from a range of hair colors to give each character a distinct look. That said, skin color and other deeper customization options aren't available, so it's not quite a full character creator experience for your party, but personally I wasn't expecting extensive customization options, but it would be nice to see this option added in the future to give players more creative freedom with their party members. Even with the current setup though, these small choices help bring a bit of individuality to each party member as you build your ideal team. And even later on in the game, it gives you the option to change your character's hair color or costume appearance if you didn't like your original choice. We'll visit more on the vocations in the combat section. Now for exploration in Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake, it's really both satisfying and richly rewarding. For those focusing on the main story, yellow circle markers on the map can guide you through the primary objectives so you never feel lost. But honestly, I rarely found myself rushing through any location. The world is packed with loot and treasures can be found almost anywhere you go, making exploration a very core part of the experience. In the overworld, you'll find sparkling objects appearing across the landscape, hinting at hidden items, and you get a ton of them all over. While later on in the game, when you get access to the boat and explore the sea, you'll come across even more sparkly shipwreck loot for more rewards. Each town, city, or kingdom is absolutely unique with gorgeous visuals that make you want to explore every single nook and cranny. Whether it's checking every pot, cabinet, or drawer, there's always something useful to power up your characters or stock up on supplies for the journey ahead. Even going around and chatting with NPCs feels completely worth it as many of them hint towards loot, places to explore, or contribute to the overall narrative of the main story. In terms of dungeons, and I'm calling them that because they are truly packed, they have tons of floors loaded with puzzles, 
enemies, and even traps. You can even accidentally fall into holes or slip off of ledges in tall towers, so be careful if you think you can explore out of a window. Your entire party can drop to the lower levels and you have to climb up all over again. This adds a little more extra thrill to the exploration. Now something that has been added in this game is a thing known as secret spots, which are scattered throughout the map. And in these hidden locations, you'll find all kinds of treasure, from powerful weapons to combat items, and even rare monsters that you can recruit for something known as the Monster Arena. I can't say anything more about the secret spots, so you'll have to find them in your own adventure. One thing to be cautious about when exploring are tight spaces, especially when you have a full party with you. It's easy to get stuck. Here's a clip where I actually got stuck inside of a shop in a town with no way to escape except by using an item called the Chimera Wing, which is actually an item you need that lets you fast travel to any previously visited location. This can be any town, dungeon, tower, you name it. If it's a location, the Chimera Wing can help you fast travel to that spot. This is really great because having to walk everywhere is a little inconvenient and for modern games being able to fast travel is always a big thing. The tactic menu when you're in combat is very customizable. It allows you to completely control your party's behavior which is really big. You can choose from options like show no mercy for an aggressive approach where the party goes all out, follow orders so you can manually control each character's action for every turn, or fight wisely to basically make this an auto battle so you can just keep attacking enemies. These are just some of the options and there's even more that give you complete flexibility over your party strategy, allowing you to decide exactly how they support you in battle, which is a big plus for the combat system. On the visual side, something cool to note is whatever weapon you have equipped actually shows up on the character, adding a very nice touch of immersion. When it comes to enemies, there is a good diversity of enemies, with each having their own unique weaknesses. So strategizing your approach in battle is extremely crucial. Beyond just the typical experience and money dropped, battles also give you valuable loot sometimes with treasure chests at the end, making every encounter actually feel worthwhile. In Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake, the monster arena adds a very unique twist to the gameplay, allowing you as a player to engage in battles with with captured or recruited monsters. Might sound familiar to another franchise where you make a bunch of monsters battle. This feature lets you test out your team's strengths by pitting monsters against each other or using them strategically in challenging battles. Overall, it's a very fun side activity that adds a lot of fun of finding monsters in the world and having them battle. So if you get the chance, you should definitely do this. Overall, I'm giving this amazing remake a score of 8. If you're a fan of the Dragon Quest series, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake is an absolute must play. It takes everything that made the original great and enhances it with beautiful visuals, refined mechanics, and fresh updates that make it a joy to revisit. For new players, this game offers a perfect gateway into the Dragon Quest franchise, combining classic RPG elements with modern accessibility options that make the journey enjoyable for everyone.